Rightio, let's go and set up the little milling machine and let's start milling this steel plate today. All right, I've got some eight mil steel plate and I'm gonna try and use the vacuum table to hold it down. Now, I've done a fair bit of vacuum fixturing work, but predominantly with aluminium. And as the old saying goes, everybody's a hero when you machine aluminium, especially in CNC world. You can hit it hard, hit it fast, take big cuts. But steel and harder materials, well that's, that sorts the wheat from the chaff, all right? And um, I've never done any vacuum fixturing with steel, so I wanna see if it works and uh, a little bit of an experiment. Let's head on over to the uh, manual mill now and uh, give it a crack. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, successfully milled the plate. Now, Muggs Malloy here, um, stupid me, did not clock it in before I started. I just sat it on top of the vise, clamped it down, and hopefully thought, job, you know, she'll be apples. It wasn't. When I swept it, I'm out, and I should have, I should have used packers to get it level. All right, but look, anyway, I proved the point. I can hold down steel and face it. I've got to be a bit careful, I can't be savage with it, it did move, but if we check that out guys, you can see here I'm about, I'm out by 0 0.22 of a mil uh, from corner to corner, so I went, this is not too bad, okay, so that's, you know, uh, 50 micron, but if you look down here, um, so discrepancy, you know, 0 0.2 of a mil, that's, that's, a, that's the thickness of two pieces of paper, okay, to give you a, a, an idea. I'm quite proud of my milling machine. It's it's um, trammed nearly spot on. And the way I got it trammed, you may remember that James sent me over the Boring Research tramming tool. And I spent a bit of time with that and clocking it in. And uh, it come out bloody sweet. So I'm really happy with that. And mate, you'll also be pleased to know that I took it to the high school and we trammed both milling machines over there. And... It's like chalk and cheese now when the kids use the machines, they're spot on. All right, good on you. So ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up. Um, I'd like to say Merry Christmas to you all. I think I'm just about to clock over 2,000 subscribers. I wanna thank you 
uh, everyone so much for sticking with me and supporting me and um, as you know I've been doing this YouTube for some years on a different plat on another channel um, but now I just I've got two channels one for CNC one for manual machining but I'm really enjoying my Aaron engineering channel because it allows me just to be myself all right and uh, you see the real person and not the school teacher alrighty so look Merry Christmas from my family to your family um, you know, Merry Christmas, bar humbug, whatever you say. <laughs> you know, look after yourselves, guys. Look after your family, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the new year. I'll be back um, around the 4th. See you guys. Bye bye. Treaties. More treats. <laughs> oh my god. Treats again. <laughs> It's really funny stuff, I like to go. More walks, less talk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mosky. Mosky, look. Oh, look, Mosky. Mosky's. Mosky's. There's no name. Mosky's looking for his bloody Mosky. tree. He's like, where's my cigar? And a bobble. A bobble. Looking for that train. <laughs>